Welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. In previous episodes, we have already talked about the mud circulation system. So we already know that we need powerful pumps to keep the mud moving. During the planning process for a deep borehole, we need to quantify exactly how much horsepower the mud pumps need, which mud pumps need to be ordered for the job. To answer this question, first the engineer must think about the properties of the fluid that is to be pumped. How viscous is it? Is it like water, like oil, or like honey? What is the density of the mud? How much kilograms does each liter of the mud weigh? And most importantly, we need to know how much of the drilling mud needs to be pumped. Which fluid is required to ensure that the borehole is properly cleaned during our drilling operation? When all these questions have been answered, we need to look at the drill string to be used. What is the diameter of the drill pipes through which the mud will flow? How long is the drill string and how deep is the borehole? We also have to consider the pipe roughness and condition of the inner surface of the drill string. Is it rough and rusty or smooth and clean? If we have all these operating conditions for the job, we take out our calculator and start calculations. First, we need to calculate the average flow velocity through the pipe. Knowing the average flow velocity, we can use the next formula, as you can see, to calculate the Reynolds number of our flow. The Reynolds number tells us a lot about the flow regime in the pipe. Small Reynolds number indicate that there is a laminar flow, which causes only little pressure loss, and the large Reynolds number show that the flow is turbulent and that we should expect larger pressure losses. Well, now that we have calculated the Reynolds number, it is time to take a look at the Moody chart. This chart looks a bit complicated, but actually it is not too difficult to use. We start on the x-axis with the Reynolds number we just calculated. From there we move vertically upwards to the horizontal line, which represents the calculated pipe roughness. From the intersection of both lines, we move to the left, and there we can read out the friction factor, which is called lambda. This lambda value is required in the next formula. Here we calculate the pressure loss along the drill string, or so to say, the pressure required from the pump to provide the required flow rate through our pipe. Now we are almost done. To finish, we multiply this pressure loss we just calculated with the flow rate, and we get the amount of kilowatts or horsepower the pump must be able to deliver. Let's look at a quick example. To pump a common flow of 2,300 liters per minute through a 5-inch drill pipe with a total length of 3 kilometers, we will need a mud pump with approximately 600 horsepower. Well, that already seems to be a lot, but in practice we need so much more. Firstly, the drilling mud is a very special fluid. It is thixotropic in nature and is quite different from water. Secondly, the mud not only needs to be pumped downhole through the pipe, but also uphole through the annulus. So you can certainly guess that a full-blown detailed pump selection for a specific job can be quite a demanding task, which requires a well-trained petroleum engineer. In our lectures, Mold Engineering and Drilling Engineering, we teach how to do these calculations in detail and how to make sure that our pump selection meets all the requirements for the specific drilling job. We look forward to seeing you at our lectures. Look off.